or something that I thought was pretty in interesting, but kind of just brings up uh, what we're celebrating. Early in 1939, the world scientific community discovered that German physicists had learned the secrets of splitting of uranium atom. Fear soon spread over the possibility of Nazi scientists utilizing that energy to produce a bomb capable of unspeakable destruction. Scientists Albert Einstein, who fled Nazi persecution, and Enrico Fermi, who escaped fascist Italy, were now living in the United States. They agreed that the president must be informed of the dangers of atomic technology in the hands of the Axis powers. Fermi traveled to Washington in March to express his concerns to government officials, but few share his uneasiness. Einstein penned a letter to President Roosevelt urging the development of an atomic research program later that year. In 1941, the American effort to design and build an atomic bomb received its code name, the Manhattan Project. So as many of you probably know, three sites were selected for the Manhattan Project, Hanford, Washington, uh, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and Los Alamos, New Mexico. And secrecy was of paramount importance. You've probably heard of secret cities. Um, we're sitting in one. Pretty exciting, and we're celebrating that. The B reactor located at Hanford was the first, the world's first full-scale working nuclear reactor. Uh, it was built in a mere 13 months, and it was built by the DuPont Corporation under contract, the Army Corps of Engineers, Manhattan Engineering District, to produce plutonium for the United States military effort in World War II. The Hanford region was selected because of its desolate landscape and low population. My, my, how things have changed. We've come a long way in 75 years. Uh, the B reactor has been recognized as a National Engineering Historic Landmark and a Nuclear Historic Landmark. So the work done right here in our community ushered in the atomic age. Uh, this wartime endeavor built up a community uh, and, and spun off a number of industries, the benefits of which all of us in the Tri-Cities enjoy today. Imagine life without a spudman. <laughs>